film after dark. This is interesting. Tony Kimeli, thanks so much for making time for us. You take the role of Skinny in the film, yeah. right? And uh, Joyce Wanjiku is also here with us, uh, production manager as well as the lawyer in the film. Yeah. Amazing and a great initiative you guys took. I'm curious. Um, what, we, we are in Kenya, a place where even films with LGBT themes are, I'd say, illegal to screen. We, we saw what Rafiki went through. Uh, and and this, is not, this is not a new concept. It's not something that you people were not aware of when you were coming to develop this. How has it been distributing your film? Uh, for distributing, it has been quite challenging because we've used YouTube. And since it, it was our first film as a production and as as a foundation, so it has been quite challenging on our side. Right. Yeah. Uh, online. Somebody would say that you're taking advantage of the online environment because it's unregulated. Mm -hmm. Where else do you um, feel like, or do, do you think this should change the simple aspect that um, normally LGBT topics, these are, these are, these are, these are places that the media doesn't want to go to. These are places that even those in charge, KFCB, for example, they don't want um, filmmakers and creatives going this direction. Do you feel any of this should change? Actually, uh, for a scriptwriter, has a right to write any story of any character. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tell me about your character, Skinny. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's hard. Mm -hmm. uh, very hard. So I sacrifice, nearly sacrifice myself to play this role, because mm. up and up and up and up and up Just make it known, Skinny is um, a gay young man, probably between the age of 20 and 30, I'd assume, uh, wears a skinny jeans and, and some glittery shoes, and say, probably appropriating what we'd call the queer culture. Uh, why would you call it a sacrifice playing that role? <laughs> uh, not everybody could play that role. Mm. Yeah, actually, not everybody. Why? Not even you. <laughs> so what, what went into you? You can't assume that much. What, what, what did it take for you to um, portray best what Skinny could have gone through in that environment that was created by the script writer? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, first, uh, I'm the mirror of the community. So mm -hmm. the community needs to learn more from me. Right. Yeah. So when they see me portraying something, they know actually this thing in exist. Right. Yeah. And you are the lawyer. Uh, at some point in the in the film, as it continues, it's, it's actually a nice, pretty short film, 12 minutes. Uh, anyone should go look this up on YouTube after dark. You can go preview it later on after this conversation is done. Mm -hmm. But you are the lawyer, and at some point you are, you are brought to at least suggest a, a way forward uh, between the church and a representation of the LGBT community. Uh, mm -hmm. And, and your determination of the same was so much so that uh, at no point did you mention the church or the LGBT community. It was just an issue about humanity coming to prevail in the end. Uh, why did you make such a decision? Uh, okay. Uh, in everything we do, in, every, the, in everything we do, humanity should always be the first, the forefront. Uh, yeah, there, there's LGBT and there's the church, but... We are all humans. We should have compassion for each other. Right. Yeah. And by extension, would you say this is a call out for uh, perhaps the legalization or the decriminalization of same-sex marriages and uh, perhaps just couples and so on? Okay, I wouldn't suggest that it be legalized, but I also, yeah, I would, on, on the way I've been raised, I wouldn't suggest I'll, I'll correct that. you on this, decriminalization, not legalization, uh, right. Okay, also de in the Constitution it's not allowed, but saying it to be declined like that, yeah, okay, me, I'll, I'll just say we just follow the Constitution as it is. As it is right yeah. now. Let me, let, me get your, let me get your view on that, because you played the role of Skinny, um, mm -hmm. this, this young gay um, Kenyan, I want to believe, mm -hmm. uh, who saw his friend getting killed and went to avenge the death of his friend, and the friend was killed for simply being gay. How did that make you feel? Uh, it's weird. <laughs> it's really weird. Uh, like, would you want to be killed for loving? At ask as an actor. Nope. Uh, oh, for for loving. Right. As an actor. Right. Definitely, you have to die. <laughs> but no, no, because the role the role you were playing was is is actually someone in real life now. Because yeah. you guys are reflecting what. 
um, in your best determination is happening in the society as yeah. it is right now. Uh, this is somebody's life you 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 are playing as <laughs> this, this is somebody's life you are um, at least reflecting and say uh, would would you would you want in your place now? Um, do, do you do you have a partner? I'd ask. Are you, are you dating right now? Are you seeing somebody? Either of you? Are you seeing somebody? Yeah. Are you seeing a girl? Definitely, I'm seeing. Are you a seeing girl. a boy? Would you want to be killed for loving? That's my question. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no. Uh -huh. I no. To be killed. But yeah. the community. But no. also the community judges people harshly. As if, yeah, it's just our community. It, it's the African, co the African culture. Yeah, it judges people harshly. How do That's you even see your neighbor walking around, <laughs> hanging around with boys, or even your own daughter hanging around, kissing another girl? How will you feel that? Am I supposed to feel bad for her choosing what she wants to love? <laughs> Damn, that's not right. That is right. Tell, tell me about right. <laughs> tell me about right. Um, for the fact that the, the lawyer, the mm. lawyer takes the stand. Your film takes the direction of uh, your. It, the, the lawyer takes the direction of actually saying we should look beyond this person being gay. We should look beyond this person being a pastor. We are taking them to court because they killed. Yeah, killing. That's an offense. So we can genuinely say uh, your film is putting out homosexuality as an, an issue, but evil is evil still. Yeah, that's why it's in the Bible. That's why God created you and he created her. What do you mean? Let me get that clear. Like, alimba mwanaume, akwena mwanaumke. Yeah. Si mwanaume kwa mwanaume. Do you know, we can... This, this, this is an interesting conversation. Um, let's talk about acceptance of gay people and uh, just um, like, like LGBT rights in Kenya as it is right now. Um, you all are aware that we are at a place where you, you'd, you'd actually call it sorry because just after repeal 162, that did happen. There was a video going online of somebody getting stoned and so on and so forth mm -hmm. just for, because of their sexuality. Yeah. Uh, l let, me, let me get it back to now the stories you guys collected because I'm aware you went through, at least you interacted with people from the LGBT community. N not as you even, doing not even interacting with mm -hmm. them. <laughs> Being approached last Friday. Right. I met one mm. in Amatatu, mm. yeah, as Vinil Kwan and Aom. Mm. Let, let me ask, I'm <laughs> asking about before your film, yeah. before your film. Lazima research. Uh, you did your research on yeah. that. What are some of the stories you got from these people? How challenging is it to be a gay person in Kenya right now? Uh, in Kenya, it's quite challenging for them because uh, they, they hide behind the, they have to hide. It's not something they are open about, yeah. Uh, some of them were like the parents wouldn't be ready to accept them. Yeah, you 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 tell your parents you're gay, but you get disowned. So it's quite challenging. Right. And them. is that a good thing that they're hiding? How do you even start telling your parents you are gay? Or is it a good thing that they're hiding? Let me let me put that to yeah, you. Yeah, to, to me it's good that yeah. they're hiding. Yeah, because when they say that, they're dead. So it's good that they're hiding. Yeah. But you realize that the society in itself is just we, me, you, herself, we can make a decision here and let everyone feel normal about it. <laughs> but about being themselves. I'm not saying in this situation. Okay, for uh, me, I agree. It's nature. Mm. It's their nature. Right. Because they feel it's right for them being gay or lesbians. Let me ask about the church now, because that's also um, a theme that you people took up in and brought up pretty uh, clearly on, on your film. What is the church stand on, um, on, on, on gay marriages and relationships as it is right now? Because what I saw in the film was a situation where somebody from the church was actually causing people from the LGBT community to get harmed. And in this case, it was killing. Okay, the church is going against evil. There's no way God will work with Satan at the same time. So God is eliminating Satan. Mm -hmm. That's it. Uh, personally, I'd say there are many different churches in our country, but okay, uh, I'd say me. I fo personally, I follow the Bible, and in the Bible, the Bible is like a guideline for Christians. Right. Yeah. So what the Bible says to me, 
it's a guideline. Yeah. yeah. The Bible says do not kill. Yeah, the Bible says do not kill. But mm. also this, the Bible says... Go eliminating evil, as he did say. Yeah, there's also that. <laughs> but mm. in the Bible... Is, is there that? <laughs> no, the, okay, in the Bible, what, okay, what I want to say to talk about first, it, there's a part in the Bible where it says, a, ma a man leaves his parents to be with a, a woman. Mm. So telling me, a man, you can't say a man leaves his parents to be with another man. So personally, the Bible to me is a guideline for right. what I should be doing what I should be following as a Christian. Right. Yeah. Who is supposed to be leaving judgment to the Lord, I believe? Yeah, the, the judgment... Let me, let me get that yeah, to him. The let judgment is up to God. Right. But uh, as I live on earth, the baby is my guideline. You, mm. as, yeah, a person, as a person, your, person, in you leading your life. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's right. T tell me about uh, the church standing um, on, on such issues as LGBT. She said very well that herself, as a person, she takes the Bible as a guide. Um, how do you lead your life? <laughs> First, uh, the church is against lesbianism and gayism, LGBT. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, in that film, the church mm -hmm. itself, it was defending the community. Like, this in right. To the extent of killing a fellow human being. I'm sorry, <laughs> we have to cut the interview at that particular point right there. But um, sitting with me was Tony Kimali, who takes the role of Skinny in the film After Dark, as well as Joyce Swanjiko, who plays the role of the lawyer. As well, she is the production manager for that particular uh, film right there. It, it touches on issues to do with LGBT. And just to bring you uh, briefly onto what the film is all about, it starts off with the lynching of a young man for him. Um, being queer in that particular regard. And then later on, uh, a friend of his who also belongs to the LGBT community uh, goes ahead and arranges for another member of the child to get maimed as well as revenge. They all end up at the chief's place and the lawyer comes in, suggests that both of them get to be prosecuted for the killings and not for their sexual preferences. We take a short breather, we'll be back with much more. <laughs> 